this guy's toast. Hmm. Uh oh, Warlock. I'm gonna keep naturalized. Giant on turn three is really bad. Because he starts second, giant on turn three is a possibility. It's another one of those cases where uh, going first and second has a huge effect. Other decks that matter. Rogue, all rogue decks benefit from going second because of the coin. Uh, mage decks that have flame wanker way back in the day. Also got a huge advantage from going second because of mana worm and the extra two damage from flame wanker. And quest mage, eh, quest mage a little bit because you get a free completion. So he might giant here. No, he doesn't giant. It's gonna Drake. I think Drake we just ignore because we naturalize. He gets two cards. Oh, what a draw! I'm sorry, chat, but that draw was good. Do I naturalize this though? It's clear he doesn't have giant or else he would have played it. But if I do it and he draws the giant, he only gets one extra draw technically. I'll, I'll take the risk. I might get punished. Only because I want to protect my Lich King next turn. And what's the word? If he had giant, he would have played giant. Let's be honest. Oh god, burn to lose. You! You had a turn 3 giant and you coined Twilight Drake instead. Fudge off, dude, with that bullshit. He wastes a coin to play a weaker minion. He had two giants. Okay. No. If he had one giant, I can't understand the debate out of naturalized. But two giant and open it and he coins Twilight Drake instead. To bait removal? He had another giant. He could have just used the first giant to bait the first removal. Nah. I call foul, sir. And of course, chat's just gonna be like, Toast, you're acting insane. This is the most obvious play. Any pro player would coin Twilight Drake when they have two Mountain Giant against a Druid. Tell us this guy's in your chat. No, I don't think so. I mean, I think he's sniping, but I don't know if he's in my chat. I wish there's an app that can tell you if someone's in your chat. So I found this app, chat. I found this app. I need to save swipe and moonfires for my Malagos. We burnt the ooze, which is actually insane against um, him. Hmm. I mean, hmm, how much damage should I push here? Do I just push the extra damage now? Yeah, that actually sounds reasonable.
And I can clear, but with the twig and burning the ooze. My logic here is that he's probably going to die anyway. You goddamn genius, you've done it again. You saw the lines, didn't you? Toast. Da -da. Oh, wait, I can't hit that. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna take the billion damage. How much damage do I have? Six twelve. No, not there yet. I can't use my swipe. I need it for his delicious face. I'm just gonna melt here. Pretty sure I go defensive here. Oh god! Into the face! Ow! He needs to heal himself. Tells you have lethal with Maligos. 6 plus 6 is 12. 18 more than 12. He's gonna turn up here. There's the hook reaver that doesn't have taunt because I didn't hit him in the face. Tostada. Ingenial, so as usual. Alright. Rude Ska 1995. I'll cut you the deal. If you oops, thank you, I still will concede. This guy's either a genius or I don't know, man. I never seen someone coin Twilight Drake with two mountain giants in hand. He's he, he might just be a genius. And I'll play my naturalize and uh Lich King. He's a genius. JK, this is the guy who said I could draw. See, like, it's okay to make mistakes, but playing it off as JK is like, come on, dude. Mistakes happen. We learn from them, and we become better. Trivializing your mistakes as just a prank is not a healthy attitude. Like me missing damage with uh, my twig. Oh, that's a mistake. I messed up. Not a prank, bro. Double wild growth is really nice. Tells did you bam? No, I just timed them out. For three days. It's time, Druid. Lots of druid. Lots and lots of druid these days. I should maybe play an OTK deck if we're gonna play nothing but druids. And draw, try and hit something useful. My hand's kind of ass. My feeling's not bad. Maybe go poisonous so we can trade. He can't promote your Drake yet. He's only on seven mana next turn. Okay, now you can promote your Drake, so I have to go taunt. Mm 
I don't want to use my naturalized because it's combo pieces. I should drop first though. Okay. Mm. He'll eventually ult manifestation. When he does, I need to hope I have Togwag already. I haven't had much of my card draw though. We like him drawing cards. Main issue right now is his Hadronox will bring back a Lich King. Unfortunate, yes. Twig. All right, we can start twigging. Please no, Hadronox, please don't, Hadronox, please don't, Hadronox. Chad, you like my song? It's called Please Don't Hadronox. He's at 50 health. My Malagos won't even come within half his life with this combo. So the only way we win is getting Togwaggle and swapping the deck. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Good pick up. That's in the case not bad with the Maligos combo, but we'll see. I gotta naturalize this. Yep. Oh, please swipe, swipe, swipe. Damn it! So unlucky. <sighs> Let's see here. Man, my hand is, for lack of a better term, garbage. Like I don't want to use my combo pieces, but yeah. I don't know if I can survive long enough. Especially since I have to punch into a taunt each turn. He goes witching hour naturalized right now. <sighs> At this rate, I'm just gonna die to branching path. I mean, if, you, if I mill Hadronox here, it's game over, right? Lights out.